What is going on? A little twist. A little twist. Gluten free dough. I'm starting to get acid reflux quite badly now. Funny. Funny that. <laughs> the one that we've been waiting for. The one. Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is so exciting. Mm hmm. <laughs> we are doing a hot cross bun taste test. I'm not even on the camera. No. No, I mean to me. You thought a hot cross bun was a hot cross bun. It turns out you're wrong because. There's at least 11 different types <laughs> in just Aldi and Lidl alone. This is the entire range from Aldi and Lidl, mm. bar the very normal ones. Apart from which, the normal ones. Which yeah. we've tried and we can give you our recommendations anyway. Whether you celebrate Easter or not, it's basically showing us that it's nearly spring and Almost the weather's so. warmer. And I don't know, I just, I think hot cross buns are happy buns. <laughs> they are. Don't you? Yeah, they're the best. So we're going to go through as we taste test them and show you the flavours. There is some really weird and wonderful flavours here. Five years ago, none of this was like an option. There was like no such thing as different flavours. No, I'm sure it wasn't. Let's get into today's Aldi and Lidl taste test. If you want to, feel free to subscribe. I make lots of videos like this. Why <laughs> with the hand? Um, so, okay. Thank you. So if you like this video and want to see more, <laughs> subscribe and join us. I would love it if you could. And um, yeah, give the video a thumbs up. So anyway, let's get straight into it. Okay. So we'll start with this one. This is from Aldi, specially selected. It is four honeycomb flavored hot cross buns with milk chocolate chips. Oh, I feel like if you don't like fruit in your hot cross buns, this might be a really good alternative. So I've got high hopes. I feel like they've this would be better warmed. Put one in the microwave. I'll get a plate. Yeah, the plate. Lawrence, that smells mm. like heaven. What? That's oh what my heaven would smell like. <laughs> it smells so sweet. It smells like a super, super sweet brioche. In the microwave it goes. Right, should I go? Got them. Mmm. I love that. I can't taste too much honeycomb. Real tiny amount. Yeah, it's got like that sweetness in the dough. Yeah. It's nice. It's definitely more of a your kind of thing. Lawrence likes, if you like fruitcake, you're going to like what Lawrence likes. If you're <laughs> not a fruitcake fan, you're going to like what I like. <laughs> um, but I actually, I think it's delicious. It's not actually too sweet. It's not it's like, not, no. her, like horribly sweet. The chocolate chips are big enough that they're nice and just gooey in your mouth. The texture's really nice because it's very thick. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Very nice, thick texture. The honeycomb and chocolate, I'm going to give 9 out of 10. <laughs> Ridiculous. I'm giving that 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10? Yeah, truthfully. That's a bit harsh, actually, in my opinion. It's it's sweet. All right, 7 out of 10. Because it could have been more sickly sweet, which would have put me off even more. But for me, it's just like, it's just a bit of an overload. Okay. You get to choose the next one. Okay, um, I think we should go for one of the berry ones. Let's okay. go for the little berry berry. Okay, let's go fruity. Oh, they smell quite good. They, I, I love fruit. That smells actually really nice. Yeah, so what's this got? It's got orange soap sultanas and mixed peel. That sounds really good to me. Actually, the peel sounds nice. Yeah, that sounds really good to me. And I think this, again, is going to be a microwave jobby. I've noticed with the Lidl, the crosses aren't that prominent, whereas the ones in Aldi, look how prominent that is. Yeah. What is the cross? Is it icing? No, it's not icing. It's like a mixture of... So, I, someone's like going to have to say in the yeah, comments, but different type of dough? I think I think it's just flour and water. I think it's like a really basic kind okay. of dough. But Anyway, let us know. Hmm. We've got cherries in it. I think they're black currants, I might be wrong though. Oh, cranberries. Yeah, I could taste that. I think it's um, just like a nice, kind of normal hot cross bun to me. It is, it's like a, it's an evolution of a, a hot cross bun. Some of these are a little bit more out there. Yeah. Some of these are not really hot cross buns, although they look like hot cross buns, so they're a bit of a trick. But this one is kind of a hot cross bun. It's nice, and it's you can taste the kind of, they've used a couple of different fruits than the very traditional hot cross bun. It's almost a kind of festive thing, because you've got that dried peel, you've got the citrus flavor, and you've got the cranberry, 
and that's almost a little bit Christmassy, which is a bit weird. This is a really nice candidate for salty butter. Salty butter, toasted. Yeah. I'm gonna give a seven out of 10. Very good traditional type pot crust bun with a bit of a twist. I think, yeah, I couldn't have put it better. I would actually give it eight out of 10, but I'd say exactly what you did. It's a, it's a traditional hot cross bun, but with a little twist. A little twist? A little twist. Let's go salted caramel and chocolate. Okay. Yeah? All right, yeah, yeah, go on then. Okay, four hot cross buns with salted caramel fudge pieces. Belgian dark chocolate chips. Okay, that's nice. That's yeah, right. and toffee fudge pieces. Wow. Alright. Okay. Okay. It smells like an American sweet shop. <laughs> okay. Honestly. Oh yeah. Doesn't it? It's a kind of a savoury vibe to There is a little that, bit. Which, um... No, oh, it's it, got a spice in there, hasn't it? Yeah. It just says mixed spices. Anyway. I love the smell because it's reminding me of America, but... Oh my gosh, I love that more than I thought I would. Yeah? Mm. Not getting very many, much salted caramel. Not any at all. So? Not any at all. I'm getting like more cinnamon chocolate. Mm. Have you ever had those like chocolate swirls? You can get them in Tesco Bakery or Little Bakery. Oh yeah, 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 it does. They're like custardy, aren't they? Mm -hmm. It tastes just like that. So I think that's really nice. I really enjoy that. I'm gonna give that actually an eight and a half out of 10. Wow. I really like that. High nice score. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give it a seven. I think well, it's level with the honeycomb for me. The reason I'm marking it down is if it says salted caramel, you're gonna expect uh, at least a little bit of saltiness. No. And there's no saltiness. But you have to taste some salted caramel if it's salted caramel flavor. So I think so. Yeah, but... yeah, I agree, I agree. So did I say eight and a half? You said eight and a half. I'm gonna say eight. Ooh. I'm gonna say eight because yeah, needed that saltiness, but I actually love it. Yeah. Um, and I would just recommend buying that. Okay, I'm gonna go for an Aldi, Bramley apple and cinnamon. So someone actually messaged me on Instagram and they said these are her favorites. Really? All yeah. Right, well, let's get a whip because I love apple flavored things. You do, don't you? Yeah. Oh, that smells unreal, it smells so good. It smells oh, but, like an orchard. It smells like, no, it doesn't. It smells like, um, like, Apple gummy sweets, well, doesn't thing. it? <laughs> same thing. <laughs> that smells like so like so, sweet. Lo it so nice how much I love a gummy fruity yeah. sweet. Like a. It smells like one of your gummy like fruity sweets. Fantastic type thing. Yeah. Oh, it's got a nice it's got sticky a nice top. Nice glaze. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. A hot cross bun should, in my opinion, have a bit of stickiness on the top. Sticky buns. It's got to be a sticky bun. Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's got big currants in there. Yeah. I tell you what it smells like, those go-ahead crisp bars. <laughs> it does actually. Doesn't it? Let's give it a try. It's like... It needs butter. Mm. It needs salty butter. It's a bit dry, but I think you're right with butter, it would be different. Yeah. It does taste like an apple pie. It does have a lot of apple flavour in there. Mm. And with like... that sultana, like... They're quite big as well, so they're quite like punchy. Mm. Okay. Right, I'm gonna give that a six out of 10. Yeah, I'm, I'm only gonna give it a seven. I like all of the flavors. Mm. Why is but it dry? It was, it was a bit dry. Okay, so this is from Lidl in the deluxe range. Four triple chocolate hot cross buns. So they've got milk, dark, and white chocolate. It's basically very, very chocolatey. Oh, it just says to grill. Oh, grilling. Why don't we grill hot cross buns? That'd be so nice. Mm. I'm sure that's how my dad would make them. Definitely. Yeah, he, he loved grilling even his toast. Not as chocolatey smelling as I thought. Do you know what? Sometimes I find things that look really chocolatey don't smell 15 seconds. Oh, yeah, that's sure gooey. Okay. Shall we go? I'm so excited about this. Oh my gosh, there <laughs> is so much chocolate. Not my favourite. Weird, isn't it? Why is that? I think um, it's just an overwhelming chocolate flavour. You don't really get much else. The others, the other chocolate ones, there was a hot crust bun flavour with nice chocolate. Mm. Um, I do like it, enjoy them, but it, it's just like not hot crust bunny at all. It's, it's very much mm. like Different. a chocolate bun. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? Um, I really like it. 
Yeah. What is going on? I really like that. But, okay. but for me, this is like, do you know what? If you're gonna give me chocolate, if you're gonna say triple chocolate, yeah, give me true. triple chocolate. It lives up to expectations. It is a triple chocolate hot cross bun. So if you like chocolatey and you like stodgy yeah. and you want to put it in the microwave and 15 like seconds, soggy. then do that because honestly, it's like a little slice of heaven if, you, if, if you're into it. One, a one would be more than enough. Oh, it? I couldn't it's eat more. It's so rich. Than, yeah. I do really like it. I think I just prefer the others, okay. the other chocolate ones. Go on then. What's so I'm your, really surprised you prefer score? this. I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. I'm giving it 9. What is going I'm on? It nine. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Of the ones that we've had so far? No. Yeah, it's the highest that I've ranked it, isn't it? I yeah, mean, it, it is. It, 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 that and the very berry are kind of, they're, they're entirely different, so. Ah. Oh. But yeah. We'll really leave them out the freezer then and have them give, this week. Okay, your turn. Right. I think it's time to do the gluten-free ones. Do you think? Yeah, I think it's time. Gluten-free dough is always going to be a bit interesting. But one thing these do have as well, as well as not having gluten in, they've got zero animal products at all. They're vegan. So these are vegan. What? These are vegan. And the only other vegan one... Accidentally vegan. So they're vegan. And the Lidl Bramley apple and cinnamon, which we've not tried yet, they are vegan too. Fermented rice. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, well, these seem interesting. Definitely wanted to pick these up because I personally have never seen gluten-free hot cross buns. I can't remember seeing any I either. can't remember ever seeing no. them. I think they've got like quite an interesting look about them as well. They look a bit like a brown wholemeal roll, <laughs> do. doesn't it? Yeah, they do. They do. With a cross on it. it will, it'll, and I'm, the cross I'm, is like painted. Oh, they feel nice and soft. Yeah, it's, it's like, almost been like branded. Like a dye. Yeah, that's what it is. It's like had that over so it doesn't cook or brown. Okay. Okay, here we go. Sounded like ripping a bit of paper. <laughs> mm. Okay. I'm impressed. It's got a good flavour. The texture is never going to get there to what we're used to. It's just never, I feel bad always just moaning about gluten-free texture because it's it's just a different texture. Yeah, it's never gonna be the same because gluten is what gives texture, isn't it? Uh, the texture we're used to. Yeah, yeah, gluten, But yeah. I don't actually mind that texture. It's, it's more different. cakey. It's more cakey. Do you think? Yeah, I'd say it's more cakey than bready, which is fine because it, it has to be. And um, I don't see, I don't, I think it's more bready. It's like fluffy bread. It's like dry, cake is moist and denser. And those are, these are all dense. That doesn't taste as dense. It's a lot better than mm -hmm. I thought. And if you do want to have gluten free hot cross buns. Yeah. Aldi, they're from Aldi. I, I think they're really good. Yeah, give it, honestly, not far off. They really are close. They're very close. I think it's good. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I'll give it an 8 as yeah. well. It's, it is, unlike the rest, which are a bit wacky in their flavours, this is a traditional hot cross bun. Flavour-wise, it, it hits the mark. And I think also texture-wise, they've done a very, very good job um, with the kind of the, the limitations, obviously, they have. Yeah, I agree. Okay, I'm going to choose these. Because well, I think we need savory. a savoury bread. Yeah, yeah, we do need a savoury bread. Before, I can't wait till that. <laughs> okay, so these are the um, jalapeno chilli and cheddar cheese hot cross buns. Picked them up the other day when we were shopping and Lawrence actually has already had two. Mm. You toasted them with butter and dipped them in soup, didn't you? I, yeah, I didn't actually dip them, but they were like with butter. Really? Oh. I've never tried it, so... Oh my, actually it smells like I would like that. It smells like it would be really nice with hummus. Yeah, it's great. Oh, it's got a nice texture. Yeah. It's like... Like a brioche almost. Yeah. Oh, I can see red dots. Oh, yeah. It's dead, yeah. What, they're spicy? A little bit. Yeah, they're, they're not, they're not like, it's not a token, like... Yeah, you just know. says it for the sake. Yeah. It's quite spicy. Wow. I have to say, I like that. Mm. I actually really like that. Mm. It's spicier than I thought it would be. Mm. And it is very savory. Mm. Isn't it? Mm. I think they're really nice. I, I would get them again. I tell you what, if you make 
cheese scones. Mm. This is similar to what you get. It's just like warm, soft, it's got the chili, it's got the cheese. All of the rest of these are sweet, so it's, it's, it's kind of like comparing apples with oranges, but they are so well balanced. They, they are. I'm gonna give that an eight out of 10. Yeah, I'm giving it a nine out of 10. And I would buy them again. Definitely buy yeah. them again. Let's get the ones that you're dreading mm. out of the way. Brioche. I don't know why I'm dreading it, but I really am. Why? I think just the pictures on the front just have shavings of butter all over. <laughs> And I just, right. I don't know, just reminds me of raw butter. So essentially these are normal hot cross buns flavour wise, but made with brioche bread. Okay. They smell like brioche. They do? Yeah. But they smell like sweet, like chocolate brioche. Mm. Let's throw one in the um, microwave. It's like the tiniest bite. <laughs> I've got a smell. <laughs> yeah. How odd. Okay, let's take a proper bite. I thought bite. it'd be normal, but it's not. Not peeing on them. A bit dry. We love brioche. Mm. For like burger buns, we love brioche burger buns. That goes really well. Um, but what is that is, well, I think that's just a little bit kind of. It's deflating. Like it, it is, because do you know what? For me personally, part of a hot cross buns charm is its heaviness and it's kind of it's comforting dry brioche burger bun with a bit of fruit in it that's what it is it is it's just that's a, what it's it a is a brioche bun with some bur with some fruit in it so I mean, we might have burgers and just have these what's do you know what you actually could i don't think that it is something too bad. we should do and do you know we what we should have, do it and vlog why, it why has nobody done like a burger in a hot cross bun a hot cross bun, if you're, if you're going for like a hot cross bun with a cup of tea over Easter, now, whenever, don't, I don't recommend them. Why? Well, score out of 10? Oh, four. Yeah, four. So, yeah. Bye. Let's try the white chocolate and raspberry. Good. Four Belgian white chocolate, raspberry, and sweetened dried cranberry hot cross buns. Right. I'm, I'm looking for. I don't like the smell. I do. And what I'm looking for is, I'm looking for a little bit of sour tartness from the, that fruit because white yeah. chocolate by itself it's just going to be a bit Ooh, sweet these are sticky buns look <laughs> <laughs> that is a sticky bun oh yeah okay that looks really dense as well which is it does oh and there's like mel um, not melted but like the raspberry stained the bread and yeah it's got loads of pink tinge to that bread i'm i'm, up, it? I'm cautiously up cautiously optimistic about these i think they've got potential to be good hmm. i i got um raspberry seeds there wow crunchy cool right. so, yeah. not my i don't like the combination of flavors i never have but you, I think it's got a really nice balance of flavour. You can taste the yeah. raspberry and the chocolate. It's not overwhelming, it's not too sweet, but it's it's nice and sweet. I'd agree with that. I'd give it a six out of 10, because it's not my thing. Right. But right. I would, I know it's good. Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah. There's like little crunchy bits in there, which I really like. Fried cranberry, there's, like there's kind of fresh, yeah, that's fresh bits of like, Proper chunks of, of raspberry, yeah. fair enough. Um, okay, should we try this triple berry? Okie doke. So this is the Aldi triple berry. Yeah. Um, four hot cross buns with sweetened cranberries and lingonberries. Yeah, cool. What are lingonberries? I think it's something Scandinavian or something. How exciting. Maybe, maybe wrong. I'm gonna have to Google a lingonberry. Very berry-ish though. They look how look. many berries yeah. are in there. Yeah, all right, let's, let's get that one in the microwave. Let's get that one right in the microwave. Okay. okay. There's a lot of fruit in there. Mm. If you like fruit cakes, fruit scones, things like that. Yeah, fruit scone. That is what it tastes like. It does taste like a fruit scone. Yeah. A tiny bit dry, not gonna lie. It is a bit. Mm. Yeah. I think toasted with butter would be better. Uh huh. It's nice. I have to say, I didn't get as much flavour from that as I did the little berry ones. No, considering they look like they're going to be the same, they are fairly different. They are fairly different. Okay, um, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Yeah, I'll give it a 6 out of 10 too. Yeah. Let's try um, the brownie apple and cinnamon hot cross buns from Lidl. 
smells so much different to the other apple ones. Oh, it does, yeah. That smells just this lot like This smells like bread. apple bread. Yeah. Now, do, do you know, because you can have like an apple bread or apple yeah. loaf or apple cake. Okay. Yep. Ready? Yeah. It tastes like flavouring rather than... That's... You're right. Mm. Um, Much prefer the Aldi brownie apple ones. I do. They're still nice. Yeah, I know what you mean. Mm. It's almost perfumed. Yeah. And you're flavor. Right. So what would you give it? Five out of ten. Really? That's a bit okay. I'm gonna I'm, give it six and a half. Really? I think the flavor's just too fake for me. The one that we've been waiting for. The one we've been waiting for. Rhubarb and custard flavor. Hot cross buns with candy root, dried rhubarb, and white chocolate chip. Oh, I didn't know that was white chocolate chip. That'd be fine, you won't okay. taste it. God, I can smell the rhubarb and custard. Yes, have a proper smell. Oh. It's almost like the sweets that you have. Oh, yeah, if you have them, if you like a sour, tangy, sweet thing, the Haribo rhubarb and custard are like. Let's hope it lives up to our many expectations. Yeah, like our expectations are uh, sky high, which might be a dangerous thing. I think the flavour's there, don't you? Mm. I think it's sweetness overload, have to say. Yeah. I agree, I think rhubarb, you have an opportunity to give it a bit of a tang. A tiny bit of a tang. And it is, I think, Missed opportunity. I like them and they do have the flavouring that I was hoping for. Um, but with rhubarb and custard, anything, you expect it to be really sweet, but you just, the rhubarb bit, there's, it just has bit. a tiny bite to it. Yeah, you want it to, texture wise, it's very much like a brioche. Very, isn't it? Um, yeah, because look, it like rips like a brioche. Mm. I, th yeah. I, I think they're really nice. What would you give it out of 10? S six and a half. Mm. No, seven. Yeah, I think I okay, can. Uh, I like the idea more than I like the execution. I give them eight out of ten because I think the idea is so good, and I think they really did just, just miss out. I think with a little bit more bite to that rhubarb, they could have been something special. Ow! Well done, us. We did it. Oh, that's so rubbish. rubbish. Well done, us. <laughs> We have got through it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it has given you inspiration. Let us know which hot cross buns you recommend or which ones you're gonna go out and get from this video. And we'll see you again really, really soon. And we love you so much. Bye.